Hey, what's up guys, how we doing? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello. And if you're coming back, hello. Good to see you again. See what happens when you're subscribed? You get a whole extra greeting. That's crazy. Well, subscribe for an extra greeting. All right. Folks, I've, uh, I've been wanting to make this video for a couple weeks now, but I've just kind of put it off for several reasons, mainly because I don't want to get murdered, but we all die someday, right? My hair is so shitty today. I look like I'm in the fucking Beatles, bro. Yellow submarine looking ass. Hey, hey Jude, more like, hey dude, get a haircut. <laughs> Didn't think I'd make a Beatles joke today. So Twitter's great, you know? I've, um, I've made a video about Twitter in the past, because there's just a wealth of content on there, you know? There's good stuff, there's bad stuff, and there's uh, really bad stuff. Today we're gonna be dissecting the section of Twitter that I would call basic white boy tweets. And honestly, you don't have to be a white boy to tweet white boy tweets, you know? White boy Twitter is like, um, a sandwich. Anyone can do it. You're an idiot! Okay, let's edit that out. I didn't edit it out. So before we make our way to uh, the final boss, which is Noah Centineo, I'm gonna go through some other mini bosses just to get a feel um, for the, the white boy tweets. And then from there, we'll, uh, we'll have enough expertise and stuff. We'll have enough uh, experience under our belts to uh, confront the master. Noah, see you soon. Oh, so there's like a list of people. So the first Twitter boy we're gonna be looking at today is none other than Jacob Sartorius. You all know him, that lip syncing child. He's one of the founders of uh, of White Boy Tweets Incorporated. You know, he's on the board of directors and stuff. So let's go through his tweets and let's see what uh, let's see how fucking basic we can get, my dude. So we got this one: roses are red, violets are blue. I don't mess with fakes. I just stay with my crew. Oh, dude. Bars, Jacob. Hey, Jacob Sartorius, are you are you consuming alcoholic beverages at a 21 and over establishment? Cause bars, dude, bars. Put this guy behind bars for these bars. Are you a lawyer? Did you pass your bar exam? Okay, enough. I don't mess with fakes, I just stay with my crew. You're 12. Too many 12 year old fakes out here, dude. I just stay with my 12 year old crew while we go play Yu-Gi-Oh and do the Fortnite dances. That's my fucking crew, dude. <laughs> Two tweets before this, I'm done with fakes, real friends only. Like, who's betraying you, Jacob, you know? This tweet would make sense if he was friends with a bunch of mannequins for a while, and then he was like, oh, this isn't working, and then he tweeted, I'm done with fakes, real friends only, from now on, I'm taking applications. Okay, so here's a prime example of what these Twitter boys will tweet. Who's trying to be my girlfriend? It's just like a super vague tweet that's designed to get a bunch of replies and likes and stuff, to be like, oh, yeah, I have a female audience that are in love with me, so I'll be like, who's trying to, who's, who, hey, which one of you wants to date me? Which one will be the victor? <laughs> like it's the Hunger Games and the, and the winner gets to date Jacob Sartorius. The Thirsty Games, ah, stupid joke. Who will, who will be, who, <laughs> who will emerge victorious in the fight for my heart? said Jacob. <laughs> You'll see this a lot. There's super vague tweets that are just trying to like capitalize on the fact that they have a, a young female audience that are just very in love with them. Let me say there's nothing wrong with having a female audience. Nothing at all. Um, but when you tweet stuff like that, that is just like super like exploitative of that in a way, then it's um, it's kind of weird, you know? It's not, it's not cool. If Jacob Sartorius is my friend, and he did that, I would tweet, you know what? No more fake friends. We'll finish up with Jacob Sartorius with this great tweet. There's side view, rear view, and what else? Huh? Oh, and I love you. Dude, if that doesn't get you a girlfriend, I don't know what will. Clearly didn't work though, cause he had to tweet right after. Who wants to be my girlfriend? First mini boss, done. I'm gonna be honest, I asked people to send me these um, Twitter accounts because I don't really follow a lot of them. And I'm not really in the loop, you know. I'm an old man. But they sent me this person's Twitter account, so let's 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 take a look. Their name is Cam Bogle. They live in Toronto. Uh oh. So if I talk too much shit, I'll probably get my ass kicked. Do you got plans tonight, dude? It's just like like this is what you text your significant other, not Twitter. I'm starting to think that like he he has that like text to tweet thing still. And he accidentally put his the Twitter number 
to his girlfriend's number. So whenever he goes to text his partner, it goes to Twitter. Hey, Curtis, do you want to describe that better or quicker? No, nah, I'm good. Okay, great. Holy shit. I know it's funny to think about me roasting someone's Twitter account because I literally tweet just straight up garbage. This is a real tweet that I did last week. I That thought went through my head and I was like, oh, that'll be good to type out into an app and then press post. Didn't even think twice. I was like, yep, there we go. There's a tweet. So. I have no right making fun of these tweets, but fuck it, dude. It's fun. All right, this this was another one that was sent to me. Andre Crossdale. Oh my gosh. Okay, this next tweet. Holy shit. If you listen to my podcast, you, <laughs> you know how much I fucking hate this word, but here we go. I don't have a type. If we vibe, we vibe. If we, if vibe, we vibe, we vibe. Oh yeah? Find me a dude like this. I don't really have a specific type of person that I, I look for. If we get along, then I guess we get along and that's great. Whoa, do you feel that? What? I think we're vibing right now. Dude, I, I was just gonna say the same thing. What what a vibe this is. Just vibe. They should make a six second uh, video making app for these basic Twitter boys and call it Vibe. <laughs> like Vine, but Vibe. All right, I'm really trying to be with you and I don't think you get that. Yeah, dude, that send that to your girlfriend. Stop tweeting like you're texting your girlfriend, okay? Am I gonna tweet like, hey, can you grab some mushrooms on the way home? Am I gonna tweet that? Probably get 50,000 likes because people clearly like when people tweet like they're texting their girlfriend. Okay, so you guys understand. You guys know what the format is, how these Twitter boys behave, and now I think we're ready to tackle the main boss, Noah Centineo. I'll say this, I haven't seen any of his movies. I'm sure they're great. I'm sure the guy's a nice fella to talk to, but dude, his online presence is very, very not good. The first thing I saw him in pretty much was um, a certain video uh. on Twitter and I can't even describe it. I'll show it to you though. This is the video. Hey, I think you're cute. Yeah, I could get into that. I could dissect that thing for hours. You know, I could talk about the that weird, uh, cringy fake smile. We could talk about his like exaggerated laugh after, or we could talk about that one second he looks at the camera to make sure they're recording. We could talk, I could bring all those things up, but I won't. So when I saw that, I was like, wow, holy shit, this is the cringiest thing I've ever seen. And I quote tweeted it and said, do you ever, do you ever cringe so hard that you die? I got some people like hating on me and stuff being like, he's just being himself. Why do you have to hate on him? So obviously I remade the video and here's the hat. Hey, I think you're cute. <laughs> so funny. And then I got even more hate, obviously, which I get, you know, I probably didn't have to make that video, but thought it'd be funny. And well, by golly, I was right. <laughs> Am I ever going to see you without makeup on? That's my question. Over the next few weeks, I kept seeing like people sharing his tweets on, on my Twitter feed and stuff. And a lot of people were roasting him and stuff. So I feel like there is a general consensus that his tweets are just garbage. They're, they're, if you put his tweets out on the, the side of the road, a man in a truck will come and pick them up. Be like, oh, oh, these are Noah Centineo's tweets? Oh, uh, yep, yeah, put them in the truck. Put them here, I'll take them to the landfill. Okay, first tweet, crying until you fall asleep. Better than never crying until you fall asleep. Okay, I think you could ask anybody. You could be like, "Hey, would you rather cry a lot and until you fall asleep, or just f or just fall asleep normally without crying?" Most people would be like, "Oh, I'd rather just go to sleep and not cry." But not our boy Noah. He'd barge in and be like, "Dude, I'd rather cry and sleep. The one thing that crying until you sleep is better than is not crying when you sleep." <coughs> Very sick. I shouldn't be filming right now, but it needs to be done. There's a madness to your methods. 107,000 likes on that. He could literally tweet the word gonorrhea and it would, it would blow up way more than any of my tweets. That's all I want to do is to be able to tweet gonorrhea and get 100,000 likes. That's my goal in life. That's all I've ever wanted. I just get a smiley face. I don't get like a strip tease. Just a smiley face. Okay, this next one is great. I can't abandon the person I used to be, so I carry him. Wow. Hey guys, hey, what's up? 
Oh, this? Yeah. This is just me as a three-year-old. What the That's fuck? me. That's super weird. I yeah. Don't well, I can't abandon him. Okay. <laughs> so I carry him. See ya. This is a. This is one I've seen a lot. Nobody says I love you the same way. That's true. Also, nobody says diarrhea the same way. No one says backflip the same way. Everyone says words differently. Much, much motherfucking better. Thank you. Oh man. Okay. I wanted to like this guy. I really, I was giving him the benefit of the doubt. I'm like, sure, he has shitty tweets, but dude retweeted Russ, non-ironically. Mentally fucked the shit out of him. Uh, okay, we'll do these last two, and that'll be it for this, because holy fuck, it's a lot. Fuck. You're so cute. 321,000 likes, 10,000 replies. Fuck. This app is cute as fuck, and I gotta tell it. Uh, just another one that's just so basic, directed at, at no one. So someone can interpret that to them. Thanks, Noah. I am cute. And then the, the tweet to end all tweets. How long does it take to fall in love? Depends how fast you jump. How do you change the speed of your jump? Depends how fast you jump. If you're jumping, you jump. Jump is the same. It should have been how long does it take to fall in love? Depends how high you jump from. Because then you're falling. And depending on where you jump from, it would take longer. Dude, I'm gonna tweet that. And if it it doesn't if this if it doesn't get more than 191,000 tweets, dude, I'm calling the cops. I'm trying to understand why these guys tweet like they do. I'm sure the management has something to do with it. They're probably like, we want a lot of engagement, we want a lot of a lot of likes and replies on your tweets. So this you're contractually obligated to do at least five basic tweets a week, okay? We'll provide them for you, we'll send them to you, you just tweet them, okay, that's it. The only problem I have with this, really, is like, you have that big of a following, you have to be aware of the internet and, and how people will perceive you, you know? So if you do stuff like that, they're gonna think not less, but definitely they're not gonna think higher of you if you have, if you're putting stuff like that out into the, you know, into the world. But then again, it gives you a lot of attention. Like, right now, some fucking idiot will make a YouTube video all about you. I didn't want this video to just be me making fun of people for no reason, and that's kind of what it turned into. I just want some more substance from these these Twitter accounts, you know? Substance that you would get from my Twitter account. So good, so great, and not bad at all. You are pissed off at me. You let me know what I can do to make this better. The thing that I want more than anything, really, is for Noah Centineo to tweet, oh, oops, thought I was texting my girlfriend this whole time. Sorry, everyone. Dude, I'd, I'd, I'd laugh forever. So, Noah, if you're watching this, please do that. All right, that'll be it for this video. Press the like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Tell me if you want me to do this again, or if you have some more Twitter accounts for me to look at and poke fun at, then that'd be great, and I'll take a look at them. And don't put my Twitter, because you always do that. Anytime I'm like, send me weird, bad, cringy stuff to react to, you all send me my own. Haha, ha, so funny. I can dish it out, but I can't take it, okay? Also, don't forget to press the subscribe button because I do a video every week and they're oh so much fun. Check down the description for my Patreon, for my podcast, and everything else down there, like my social media, my Twitter, Instagram, all that bullshit. All right, until next time, no one says see you later the same way. Okay, <laughs> see you later. <coughs> Peace out. So, you're going to show me how you squirt? Okay, uh, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please press the subscribe button, and if you want to watch more videos from me, just click on the screen. There, uh, there's, there's some right there. All right, thanks. See ya.